So this is the house. It's a very nice neighborhood. It's a huge driveway. You can easily put two, two, another two here. So a total of six cars. So we have to go from the inside. This is the entrance for the garage. So what I like about the house is that uh, it's renovated recently and I like the design so far. So as soon as you walk in, on the right side you have the garage door. This is your garage. It's a two-car attached garage. And you have a dining area here. And you go to the left, you have a full kitchen. And I like the kitchen. I like the way that they made the kitchen. It's very close to the like the, the front yard and the driveway, so you can technically see anything, everything. Okay. And here you have the bedrooms, and this is the basement. So this house is a back split, so you have half basement, it's not a full basement. And let's take a look on what they have here. So this is your living area. They designed it in a way that looks like a cinema room with a huge TV. I like that. There's not a lot of good lights here. So there are one, two, three, four doors. I'm gonna start from the left. So this is bedroom one. Looks really nice. I like it. it's a good size bed. And you have closet here. Looks so good here. <laughs> Look at these lights. All right. Now bedroom two is supposed to be right here. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. They turned it into storage, but again, you have your closet in here and it's a good size bedroom, just like the other one. This is bedroom three. This one staged and organized. You have two closets. It's a good size bed. And here you have full bathroom. Bathroom is a little bit outdated, but it's not bad. It's taken good care of. I like that you have a window on the top. It looks clean to me. And you also have some storage right here. The only thing that I noticed is right here. So that's gonna need some attention and some work here. It's not a very big deal, but again, not sure how, because you technically you cannot just add a couple tiles in here. That's not gonna happen. So, want to put a covering because you cannot just like add one, two, three, four tiles. Even you cannot even maybe you want to even be able to find the same one in the same color. Challenge. I like the layout. I 
it's very spacious so far. The only thing that I don't like about these tiles, the back support, is, uh, is the basement. The basement is usually not that big because it's not full size. This is your separate entrance for the basement. You can use this as an exit and entrance. And you have a, a good size living area here. So let's see what else we have here. This is gonna be storage. It's just basically, yeah, it's just a storage and laundry room. It's high ceiling. If you finish some of this one, you could, it could also be like a bedroom or something. So it's not bad. This is a full bathroom that's fairly new, looks good to me. I like that. It's in really good shape. And this is supposed to be a bedroom. Oh, that's a kitchen. That's interesting. It's not a full kitchen though. There's not a lot of lights in here. Okay. There's cabinets, but I don't see like there's no water in here. It's like it's like an office study area. Something like this. Or it's more like Because there's no power for an oven or anything or a fridge and there's no water but this could be a kitchen like if you're gonna turn that into a kitchen that's possible because it's a close to the bathroom so you could take some water from the back and again that's gonna that means a lot of renovation no this is the bedroom it's actually huge it's not bad it's huge there's a lot of space here it's a big, uh, big size window, a very high ceiling. You have a closet in here. I like it so far. It's interesting. And that's your living area, dining and everything else. I think it's a good house. Again, you just have to figure out the kitchen and laundry for the upper unit. Separation shouldn't be too hard. You can add a door here and drywalls here you can separate it. But it's gonna need some money to do that. I'll take you to the outside as well. So now we go out. A few stairs. I love the way that they made the backyard. So like if you see the fence between uh, the pool And the little garden is very, it's very nice and organized. Like if you have your play, your kids are playing on the the right side, they don't, you're not gonna be like afraid of they gonna fall in the pool or anything like that. And I think that's very important. It's like the backyard. It's very nice and very organized. I have no complaints about it. Of course, one thing to worry about is a pool. We need to bring someone who knows about them, like they can inspect the pressure, if there's any leaks, any stuff like that. So 
got some water for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. This house is right now active and still available in the market. If you have any question on water or any other house in Windsor, reach me out. My number is going to be on the screen. Let me know how much you guys think this house is worth. It's listed at almost $600,000. And again, keep in mind it's in a great location. It's very well renovated. So I think it's a nice house. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one.